Hi, it's Jenny. How you doing? Hi, guys. Oh, hey, Jenny. I want to show you guys something. This oh, shit rocks. Yeah, she's finally showing her tits. Oh. <laughs> I'm streaming this shit on my TV. Because you know, all that shit. I'm trying to attack this whole TV. Oh, oh, no. Hey, there we go. Dude. You're welcome. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Great, I broke the show. <laughs> no! Anthony, what the hell? I, I think Anthony's I see a future uh, Midnight Chat Attack GIF coming on here. Uh, yeah, I, I think so, too. Well, we only have a GIF he was actually in camera. Anthony, dance in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Never. No, what network are we streaming on? HBO? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're streaming on HBO, no. HBO, <laughs> <laughs> night. Oh, come on, man. HBO, no, no, for real, no. Bugs, I'm, I'm really glad to see you, though. I'm really glad to see you. That, 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 that made my day when I seen you in the chat. So that's, that's really nice. All right. Well, you want to rub one out before we continue, or? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. No, no. Oh my God. Damn. 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 Seriously, man. No, you I should am not blame, awake enough uh, for this chat. Uh, you should blame Adrian because she the one that started it up there talking about what your thoughts on masturbation are. Hey, <laughs> you, at, you asked a question. No, right? I wasn't expecting no questions like that. Come on now. I'm like, come on. That, that is, that's why you Wait, made it. Wait, did she really say this? Yes, no, you know, she said so. this. I'm up there going oh, on Facebook boy. talking about, oh, oh you got this screen <laughs> capture. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. It works. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm, I'm not really I, I wonder if anyone had any doubt on that. It, it works totally. I, I guarantee you. Trust me. It totally works. No, like going over to uh, Facebook back. Wait, Facebook back. Facebook and asking people about community questions and stuff. I need community questions for the show. And then I blame actually Nick and Julian for starting it because they was like, "What's your favorite newspaper? What's your favorite rolling paper?" And then Adrian just takes it a step further and just says, "What are your thoughts on masturbation?" Rolling papers are really worse. Man, this is the first question I got two answers for, man. Oh. Zigzags and yes, I do. Yes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about. Let me tell you about <laughs> masturbation. Like earlier today, like or this evening, we were Ooh. passing my favorite sex store. And I was like, okay. damn, I need a new vibrator. I said to myself, I need a new vibrator. But You do I... know your husband's sitting right next to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, the vibrator is a nickname my... for him. Hey, did yeah. he buy me my last one? I think he bought me my last one. I can't remember. God, you did lazy you motherfucker. You bought her one? God, come on, man. Wow. You're actually I imagine what you guys get each other for anniversary gifts, I swear. <laughs> oh, they get each other sex slaves for the anniversary gifts. Hey, Bugs. <laughs> Bugs, Sex lady, no, ain't no other bitch handling that shit. Oh. No, hey bugs, you know what you should do to be a be a good girl, or whatever, man. Buy him a flashlight. <laughs> I on, am man. his flashlight. Oh, no, oh. you you get to have toys oh. and he can't. That that's the song for Pitch Perfect too, right? I'm your flashlight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> am I the only one that's confused? Like, did you mean like an actual flashlight? No, no, flash. no. Flash. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no more housing start more today. Alcohol. You know what? I do not blame Bugs' husband for doing that because, like, almost every man. I mean, y'all caught her on the after hours saying, "You gonna fuck tonight? I don't care if I'm sick or not." So, I don't was know, the where's best. that man now? No, he was. No, he was. He was sick. Oh, he. Oh, was he sick. was sick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was sick yeah. of you sexually him less than his ass. <laughs> I an actual question, um, because What's it up? just came out, the reviews are lukewarm, they're not worse than everybody thought, who's seen Ghostbusters? I'm oh, probably seeing it tomorrow. I haven't seen it, tomorrow? but I might see it tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. Oh, Adrian, you still haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Oh, hey, no, Adrian, no, come I, up here, we'll see it together. <laughs> I've been resisting, you know, going to see it, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, I might as well. Yeah. Uh, what it was um like after Corey's review, what was y'all impression? Was y'all was like, oh, I'm still kind of, I don't know about this. That probably got me to see it more because I was actually surprised to hear his review. He was actually saying that the first half of the film was actually not bad. So it seems like everyone's shocked. had that same kind of like middle of the road reaction. Like mm -hmm. I've heard a few people were trying to do the whole, it's great, it's awesome. You guys don't know what you're talking about, but those reviews seem to be more. I don't know, either fanboyish or they're the ones who are the people who want to be in denial of the fan hatred. Like, oh man, you nerds need to shut up. It wasn't as bad as you said it was. It's actually really, really good. They want and... a virtue signal. Oh, what? 
Seems like some people want a virtue signal that, you know, maybe approving of this movie would somehow earn them some points with some girl they want to be with, so... Well, no, it's weird, because, like, um, I listened to the One of Us reviews, where they had... They just released a subscriber review with only uh, Chris Cox and Chris Herman, because originally their main crew review, they all loved it. They gave it, like, you know, 8 out of 10, and 9 out of 10 oh, kind no. of thing. Oh, I haven't and looked then, at that yet. Yeah, but then Chris and the other Chris, they were more in the middle, like, kind of 5 range kind of thing, so it really, it really just seems like it, it depends on who watches the movie? But I think yeah, exactly. if you have a more critical eye and a more moderate view on films, it's kind of, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that middle-of-the-road review stuff is pretty common for most people, I would say. Yeah, that's actually a good point, yeah, because that's what it seems like, like, um, like Corey said, and I think um, Jeremy Johns, because he had reviewed the movie, too, and he was just pretty much like, everybody was just like, meh. So it was just like, the, yeah. the actual the controversy was the best thing about the movie, because it got it actually raised the bar a little bit more. So, which is Apparently sad. they address in the movie. <laughs> yeah, like, wait, what they actually do? Oh, well, yeah, there's like two or three jokes where they make fun of YouTube commenters for no reason. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually kind of a good idea, though. Like, that takes balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> they should have made a scene where they make fun of shitty writers. <laughs> <laughs> that would have okay, been but... so mad. The, the problem... Got you. How... Oh, go ahead, Vox. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was going to say, the problem I have with the Ghostbusters controversy is the fact that, you know, from the beginning of the inception of the story idea and everyone hearing about it, the, anyone who had a problem with it was immediately told that they were anti-female. Thank you. When the trailer came out and people saw the tra- the first that first trailer... Um, I didn't like it. I thought it looked stupid. And people were like, oh, well, you're just you're just against women. I'm like, I'm a bitch. I'm a woman. How the fuck am I against women? Oh, well, then you're a traitor to your to your uh, gender. What? what the fuck? That's, that's I feminism know, right? So for stupid. you. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember we made yeah, I remember we You must agree trailer, with us. Like, Otherwise, yeah. you're a member of the patriarchy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, BuzzFeed is the worst when it comes to this shit, oh, though. Fuck BuzzFeed. Mm-hmm. Fuck BuzzFeed. Goddamn fucking social justice warriors. I hate that term, but in this case, it's apt. Last point on Ghostbusters, though. Did anybody see I, the water loop? Wait, what? Somebody what? cut me off. <laughs> the water loop. Yeah, the somebody had cut me off. No, the water loop um, train station, um, they had the um, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in the train station. Did y'all see that on Facebook? I think that was the only thing that was the coolest thing that came out of this film. Oh, jeez. Um, I, I think the coolest... Horrible. Sweet no, I'll Jesus. say the best thing that came out of this film was freaking Ecto Cooler coming back because oh, I miss that. I, know, right? I How miss that actually too. taste. Dude, yeah, you never had Ecto Cooler? Dude, Ecto Cooler was awesome. <laughs> no, that oh, shit was I great. Love it. So I stayed away Ecto- from it. It's kind of, it's kind of like um. So good. Remember when they had the um ketchup mustard and they was turning that shit green and blue? That's the same yeah. uh, okay, thing. That, that was bullshit. The, the Ecto Cooler <laughs> was actually really good. I love having that yeah. kind of lunchbox as a kid. Yeah, I really do. I miss that. Like, it's like sold out everywhere else. Like, if you go online and try and go on Amazon, like, it takes weeks for them to restock it because everyone keeps buying it out. I got like a case Damn. next to me right now. But yeah, oh yeah. By the way, I think um, my real quick thoughts on the new Ghostbusters. Well, I just thought it was eh, like just shrug of shoulders. It wasn't like awful. I'll say that it kicked the shit out of Batman v Superman. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> I hate that That's fucking not hard. I will say that all day, every day. Like, I had a much better time at Ghostbusters than that movie. And then there were, like, four scenes in the movie that did make me, like, laugh. One made me laugh really hard. Like, me and my friend kept cracking up at it. But uh, besides that, I would just say it was, eh, like, a rental. Like, honestly, oh, rental. Oh, so you've seen it, Jax? Okay. Yeah, I did see it. I haven't, I haven't put up a really short thing on my YouTube about that, like, really quick. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, yeah. I'm, I'm still curious. I'm really still curious just because of Ghostbusters and stuff like that. The review um, gave me a different perspective. I checked out other reviews, Jeremy Johns, but it just seems like it was just lukewarm, which is kind of worse than being a bad, really bad movie or a really um, good movie or anything like that. Because at least a shit movie like Batman vs. Superman, it still makes you want to talk about it. But, yeah. you know, yeah. but like a yeah. lukewarm movie, people are just going to forget, oh, that happened, moving on. Bugs, you said the more, the better you get, you keep yourself in shape, you'll be attractive. So is this attractive? No! Oh my god! Oh, uh, you put it face down! Put it down! Is, is this attractive? I'm blind. Hey, Harry, motherfucker, rule number three. Is that Harry nipple? 
<laughs> we gotta talk oh about that. Justin talk about is that. so turned on right now. Yeah. <laughs> so you are we all just showing so our tits tonight, or? Yeah, we yeah, showing I mean... our tits. Adrian, you're next. Adrian. You're next. <laughs>